What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back for another Copart walk around. And what I'm looking at right over there, you, you guys are you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but we're gonna look at it anyway. Number one on my list is a 2006 Land Rover LR3. I hear y'all right now saying, no, nope, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Well, I'm here to tell you the buy it now price of this is $1,700. It's the same price as the 2008 BMW X5 that we just brought to the channel. I like it. I do. It's sitting all the way on the ground. That's concerning. But I also know these things, a lot of times, once you put power to them, they pump right back up. Looks like a little bit of burn through on the paint up top as well. 126,000 miles. That's nothing. That's nothing for a Land Rover, right? <laughs> we all know better. We all know better. <laughs> oh boy, look at, uh, what is this? Okay, so we got some nasty carpets, but then we got, like somebody never took the, somebody never took the plastic off of the floor from new. This thing still has a plastic on, on the floors. Okay, okay, what about up here? Surely that's gone, yeah, that's long gone. That's long gone. The floors don't look too bad. I think this will clean up pretty well. Seats aren't too bad. The dash, pretty common with these. It's pretty tore up. You got your air fresheners. They're not working anymore. A little bit of a, you know, blemish there on the center console. I see a light flashing, which means this thing may actually run. We got the key. Up. Oh. Okay. Well, this one may not even need a jump start, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow. It it runs beautifully. You're kidding me that there's only one light on and it's a brake light, right? <laughs> You're joking. The only light on is a brake light. And the brakes feel fine. Okay. Okay. Sunroof. Oh, wow. Okay. No, dude, I want this. We got working windows. Surely the air conditioning doesn't work, right? Yeah, surely not. Surely not. Make sure that's on nice and cold. Same thing with this side. Ice cold, baby. Let's put it on vent. Hopefully these work. Now, I don't know. These things have this weird... Yeah. I don't think this is working. I hear it in the back, but I don't hear it in the front. I don't feel anything up here. I think the blower motor up here up here is dead. Or maybe the blend door doesn't work. I turned it off to the rear. Yeah, there's nothing coming out up here. Nothing. Okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We got an ashtray that falls out. Little charge port. We've got all of this different crap. Let's see if it raises up. She's in high, she's in normal drive mode. It shows on here, I think, that means that it's raising up, right? Up, oh, it's raising, it's raising. Oh, 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 yes, it is. Okay, so I would guess she needs a blower motor up here. Glove box. Glove box. What is this? This, I, I believe this is the blower motor resistor. Without this, the blower motor will not work up front. So, yeah, that could, that could definitely be a problem. 
Let's pop the hood, take a quick peek. Uh-oh, the rear came up, the front came up. Guys, tell me not to. She came up on all four corners. Yes, yeah, she did. We got good tires. I think we do, we got hand coop tires. Well, I mean, they're a little cracked. That's fine, that's fine. I've seen Vice Grip Garage drive further on worse tires than this. Yeah, they're a little cracked. It looks like she may have been sitting for a little while, guys. That's a little concerning, too. Let's see what the gas smells like. You can hear the pump. Gas smells fine. Let's see if we can open this door real quick. Oh, good lord. Oh, that thing weighs a thousand pounds. That's gonna need some, uh, some, uh, hood struts or trunk struts. Oh my god. Oh, it's smashing me. We got new rotors. New, uh, wheel speed sensor, too. New wheel speed sensor. Two new rotors. And feels like ice cold air conditioning blowing somewhere back here, guys. I think the AC works. I do. I think the AC actually works on this. I still hear that compressor going. She should have been up by now. Let's take a peek under the hood. Guys, for 1700 bucks, this is going to be hard to pass up. For real. Real hard to pass up. Hood struts appear to be good here. That's... Whoa! Oh, okay. okay, you scared me. You scared me there, you did. It's missing the engine cover. She's got a nice battery in her though. An Autocraft Silver. And it fired it right up. Now, I'm not sure where this blower motor resistor is, but that would need to be figured out. Let's take a peek. Can we see the air compressor? we can it's right there and you can see the clutch the clutch is spinning just fine boy she runs like a top guys look at the coolant clean coolant look at this 1700 bucks what the hell was that uh Okay. All I did is close the damn hood. That's it. We'll <laughs> Land Rover. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what just happened here, guys, or or how this came to be. Anyway, this is supposed to go down there. This whole thing just got all, all kinds of tore up. Lovely. Well, hell, we almost have to buy it now, don't we? I'll throw this in here too. I want everything to go with it. More sunroofs back here. Another one back there. We got another seat back there too, maybe? There's that cabin air filter. Somebody's been tearing it apart. Okay. Well, we need to see if it goes into gear. That's important, but I feel like this one could be a this could be a score, man. I just can't decide if I want to buy it now or just throw a throw a bit on her. I'm go ahead and turn that air conditioning off since it's not going to do any good up here. Can we lower it down? We can. Yes, she lowers down. My next question is, will it change into like different terrain levels? It does. Recommended low range is selected for mud. Okay, so let's put it in low range because that was my next question. Program selected, yes. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, low range works. <laughs> yeah, take a look at that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's put it back in high range. High range selected, HDC switched off, program selected for sand. We'll just put it back into normal. Special programs off. So it is now in normal mode. It is in two wheel drive. And we're gonna put it in kind of the, the low mode here. Let's take a look at it. She should be lowering herself down. Oh yeah, much better, much better. It's like, it's like sport mode now. Look at that. That sucker is ready to go. Yeah, I'm liking this, guys. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to pull up the app real quick. Let's just see what this thing is sitting at and double check the buy it now on it. Well, here it is. It's got 21 hours left. Ah, this is a non-public clean title, which means only dealers can bid on it. Okay, I like this. I like this. It's a six-cylinder. It's a 4.06. Okay, I thought this was a V8. Anyway, there she is. Guys, she looks decent. It's still a capable vehicle. I'm interested in it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and throw a bid. I'm not going to buy it now. I don't think there's many dealers out there that's going to pay $1,700 for this. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my maximum bid at $1,250. See what happens. Well, we're at $300. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let this one play out. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll get lucky and get us a Land Rover for super cheap. Next on my list, a 2017 Ford Focus ST. Why is this here? Huh. No key. You're kidding me. No key and a non-runner. Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay, it's listed as mechanical damage and it's a rejected repair. 37,663 miles on the odometer. Rejected repair with mechanical damage. Okay, that's good quality right there. Look at this, Donut Media. What else we got in here? Up, oh, MBRP for the exhaust, I like it. We've got Goonigan. Heartless. She's got power, too. What a shame there's no key. There was a key. <laughs> there was a key. There was a key to this. Somebody stole it. Somebody came out here and stole the key. Yeah. No key detected. Of course. Of course. This is why we can't have nice things. I, I don't know if I've said this in any of my previous videos, but I hate thieves. I hate thieves with a passion. I really do. I, I mean, I, I really, 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 truly hate people that steal. You know, everybody else has to work for their stuff, then someone comes out and, and, and jacks it, you know? Gets, gets something for free. Yeah, I'm assuming the key's probably worth a few bucks. You might be able to sell it or something, make a couple dollars off of it. All the common places I look for keys and just not seeing it. Not, not to say it's not in the trunk, though. I guess it could be in the hatch, right? If somebody wanted to hide it from you. I'm here to tell you, though, man. They don't play out here. Uh, if you get caught jacking stuff out here, I mean, a key, really? Is a key worth going to jail over? The, you will go to jail out here. Uh, I'm telling you. They will have you arrested. You will go to jail. It's not worth it. It's not worth it for a freaking key, man. Uh, and now you're going to cost the next owner you know, tons of money. And on top of costing the next owner money and inconvenience, uh, you're also costing the insurance company that's selling the car money as well. It's just, yeah, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, I don't see a key. 405 Goons, Waterloo, established 1974, Boost Creeps, 
Okay. I like the car. Curious as to what happened to it, though. There we go. At OKC Photography. Goonigan. Yeah, I'd be very curious to find out what happened to this car. What was the rejected repair? How did it end up here? Does it still run if it had a key? You know, and I'm not saying the key was stolen from this location. It could have been stolen from the insurance company. I mean, there's there's a million different things that could have happened. It could have got lost uh, in transport from, you know, tow truck to tow truck hauling this thing around. It, it's hard to say. But I would be curious to know if when the car was sent here, did it have a key with it? Did it run? If it didn't run, what was the problem with it? Like, what, what happened to this car? I'm sorry, guys, but like just from looking at it, everything looks, everything looks to be in good order. It really does. Okay, does she have coolant? Let's take a peek down in the coolant bottle there. I do believe, yeah, she's got coolant. She's got, she's full. You can see it right there. She's got coolant. What about oil? She's got oil. Okay. Mechanical damage, rejected repair. Very, 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 very interesting. I'll tell you what else is interesting. These headlights are not factory. These are, okay, this one is factory. This is from 8 of 2017. This one was manufactured March of 21. This car had to have been in an accident. Had to be. Absolutely had to be. So we know it was on this side. We know for sure something happened on this side because that headlight is different. I'm looking up here to see if I see any tags on the fender liner and I don't. I don't. The caliper looks original. Rotor. Huh. Maybe it was involved in a light front end collision but I don't see anything wrong with this. I truly don't. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should tag those guys on my Instagram. Huh, yeah. Maybe I should tag them on Insta and try to find out what exactly happened to this car and if it had keys when they sent it here. I like it, I do. Um, a little bit of a risk, yeah, but for the right price, I would be I would be very interested in this guy. So I'm gonna keep this on my watch list. And if it goes cheap enough, I'll take the I'll take the jump. I'll take the leap, man. I will. Let's see what happens. Last on my list, ladies and gentlemen, a 2012 Porsche Cayenne, not the S, no, it's just gonna be a V6, but still a relatively nice looking ride uh, on this side. It's got 166,000 miles on the odometer. The other side leaves a little bit to be desired, but okay, ooh, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> it's a little worse than I thought it was. Uh, how bad is it? Okay, so, ouch, yeah, <laughs> okay. Man, oh man. Now you guys know I love salvaging as many parts as possible. So this bumper, that bumper's fine. That wheel though, that wheel is not okay. That is not okay. There's, you're not gonna refinish that, I don't think. Take a look, she is, she is scarred up pretty bad. Uh, probably flat too, maybe it's on run flats? I don't know, maybe it's not flat, but this fender, that's Fender's junk, and it's aluminum too, great. This door, yeah, it's junk too. Hopefully it still opens. Oh, wow. Don't worry, that Fender's trash anyway. What I'm concerned about is, do we have any damage to the A-pillar? I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit here. And I like to look at the hinges, the door stop, and just follow everything down. Everything looks very level, very even. Next, the rocker. Rocker looks good, all right? Next, let's go to the B pillar, from the A pillar to the B pillar. Things are still looking pretty good until we get right here. And this is probably, yeah, well, the miles may have told it alone, but 
I can already see right here, this is bent into the B pillar. B pillar is bent up pretty good. Let's see if we can open that door here. Take a look at the rocker panel. Nope. And look at the overlap. Yeah, she's been she's been shoved in pretty good, man. So the rocker panel is probably okay, but you get into the C pillar, the dog leg back here. You got some. You definitely got some damage under there as well. Then you got this rear wheel and tire damaged as well. I was really hoping we'd be able to open this rear door. I wanted to see how bad it was. No, it's just not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Damn it. She's a little worse than I thought it was, guys. She was. Well, that's okay. Nope, she's also dead as a doornail. We'll take a look at her anyway. Uh, this isn't going to be one I'm interested in. Oh, wow. It's like a, it's like a fighter jet. In this thing you know what i mean <laughs> it's got it's got so many options so many buttons it's it's kind of it's kind of insane but i like it i do i really like it this one has a key oh it's got a really cool key <laughs> hopefully someone doesn't steal it yeah nice leather pouch that they've got the key wrapped into very nice very premium it should be it's a porsche after all let's pop the hood is this a run and drive? Yes, it is. This is a run and drive. I figured it would be. There's no reason this thing shouldn't run other than a dead battery. 3.6 liter V6 direct injection. Although I'd prefer the V8, I'll be honest with you, taking a look in here at this six cylinder, it looks like you could actually work on it. It really does. It really does. It looks, in fact, didn't, didn't watch JR go just buy one of these? I think he did. I think he just bought one of these himself with the v6 and i think he said the same thing about the amount of room there is to work under the hood granted it may not be as powerful but i guarantee you this is going to be a more reliable setup than the v8 the cayenne s this is what i would go for and honestly i'm, I'm really curious as to how cheap this is going to go for i'm certain i can source two doors and a fender and that would take care of the majority of the damage and this cover right here that would, and if, if I could find them the same color, the same paint code, you could leave the little scrape back there, put another plastic piece over it, two doors and a fender, a couple of wheels. This thing would look sick, guys. Uh, the, I think most of this would buff out most of it. Now, there are some... No, that's a surface scratch. That's not a deep scratch. That's on the surface. That'll come off. Almost all of this right here will buff out, guys. It will. This could be a steal of a deal for the right price. Let me, uh, let me throw a jump pack on it real quick. Let's definitely verify that it runs. Just like I like to verify that they don't run. You know, if, if something says it doesn't run, I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. I, I also, if it says it does run, very important, you still check it out for yourself, guys. Seriously, now I don't know where you're supposed to hook the negative terminal to on this. Um, well, hell, that's... Where is Watch JR go when you need him, man? I don't know. Oh, there it is. There's the lug. It's right there. Hard to see, but we'll go ahead and throw a quick boost on her. There you go. Woo, pop. Wow. That, that sounded violent. I assure you, the vehicle's fine. The vehicle's fine, guys. If it runs, it'll still start right up. Push to start, I'm assuming... Oh, the key is over there. Of course it is. Of course. Check engine light. You don't say. <laughs> system not active. Okay. All wheel drive system. Okay. <laughs> well, this is why you come check this stuff out. This is why you come check this stuff out. Yeah, I think Watch JR goes may be a little bit better than this one just a tad his has a few less miles as well this is nice though this is nice and look you even get some simone's pizza peppermints with it it is misfiring like a son of a gun traction control is it's trying to die oh my goodness this thing is in this is in bad shape guys this is in bad shape Wow. Ok. 
come on. Sometimes when they sit for a long time, guys, these things start running really poorly. But once you give them some throttle, get those injectors working, they clean up. No, this, this one is not. This one is not. Man, she's got some miles on her though. I'll bet Jessica would drive this. I guarantee you Jessica would drive this. Look how the engine, well, I don't know if you guys can see how that engine is shaking or not. No, actually from where I'm sitting, it looks pretty damn smooth too. 14.8 volts, so she's charging real nice. Guys, I smell something. I'm gonna shut this off, that doesn't smell good. I'm gonna shut that off. So I thought I smelled fire, like, or electrical heating up. And I did the right thing and immediately shut this thing off. But what I, <laughs> what I didn't realize is that right around the corner from me over here, we have, we have some burnt down uh, quads. All right, so there's some fire ones over there. They have burnt to a crisp. And that smell, because the wind is blowing from that direction over to me, it was it was hitting me, making me think that it was this. It's not this. So I feel a lot better now, but I'm not going to bother trying to restart it or anything. This one is going to be uh, out of my league. This is one that I'm just not going to bother even trying with. Um, it's sitting at like 2500 bucks right now. It's not a pure sale. It's not going to go for $2,500. Right now, I feel a little more comfortable winning that uh, Land Rover than I do trying to purchase this and find parts. So we're going to skip this one. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Also, consider subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't subscribed yet. I truly appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Links to that all down below. Auto Auction Rebuilds. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.